Welcome everybody. I got most of the prep work done. Now this isn't my RV. My RV is on the opposite side. We are going to paint Steph stuck in a truck's RV. I'm going to get kind of, I'm going to learn how you do it by doing it. And then in about a month, I'm going to turn around and do Cousin Eddie, my RV. I figure we can make all the mistakes we want or I want on her RV because, well, it's not my RV. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna try and make no mistakes. I got everything taped up and ready to go. And uh, I just need her to get off work because my brand new Sprint pay paint machine is in the back of her car. So I'm about done. I'm ready to paint. Now don't tell Steph, when I was up on the ladder, I did spill some coffee after washing it. So she's got a coffee stain. Hopefully the paint will paint over that we'll see but my video is not about painting I'm gonna let Steph stuck in a truck do that on her video so if you want to check out our paint job uh, you're gonna have to subscribe to her channel today's video for me is about electricity and electric cars now I have used this product once already just to test it out it is an amp road wall unit 50 amps 50 amps of juice for the car this is the company right here if anybody is curious when you buy an electric car you normally get one unit that's very similar to this but it just plugs into a wall like if you're going to charge your cell phone you need something a little bit more powerful if you want to charge fast and that's that's what this does Now I have a full charge on my battery. I have been plugged into my RV here overnight. It's fully charged and stuff like that. When we're done painting and stuff like that, I'm thinking about going on a road trip because today is Thanksgiving. Tomorrow is Black Friday. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going shopping, but I might go see some Christmas lights, run the juice down in the car just a little bit, come home and show you what it's like charging on one of these chargers and how they work. All right, everybody. Well, today is the day that we have to run my battery dead so I could show you how that charger works and how you home charge from an RV fast. So last night, Steph got off work about 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock. I had the whole RV taped up and then we got to painting and the thing looked amazing. It looked really good when we finished last night. I mean, look, it looks pretty good so far from here but it rained last night right after we finished painting and the thing just became a horrific mess and it looks like rain and morning mist is in the future for all week this is the time of year you really don't want to be in florida snowbirds if you're going to be painting your rvs or doing any outside work stay out of florida because this is what happens you know yeah our rainy season's pretty much over, but that morning mist that you get every day, it doesn't, doesn't do things like that very, very good. So that you probably wanna to go to Arizona. So snowbirds planning on working on their RVs, you should go to Arizona, just, just a hint. So what we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna grab her, walk in, wake her up, and uh, go back to the paint store, get one more gallon, and then, uh, Hopefully later on this afternoon, the sun, the Florida sun decides to break out, say hello and dry this thing. And then uh, I have to go back to work and she's gonna be stuck doing this over the next three or four days on her own. Which probably isn't too bad. It just, it's supposed to rain in two days from now. So whatever she does now has to be dry in the next two days. Otherwise, you know our Florida rains, it's just gonna pfft make a total mess here well we're starting out this morning with 66 miles well it's it's probably more than that that's a guestometer and uh we're gonna try and knock it down to about 25 miles by running to walmart well we went to walmart we did everything we needed to do and then i was gonna go home and uh charge i figured show you guys what it's like but it's just like this 
it's just like this. You just take the end, plug it in, and it's it's charging. Yeah, so we went, got a two gallons of paint to cover up all that mess. It's starting to warm up, so we're gonna let that thing get sticky. I gotta go back to work, so she's gonna be doing all this by herself. But I figured, what the heck? You know, we really need to run this battery dead and just run it at the Walmart really didn't do it. So we figured a Disney trip. So we're gonna charge before going to Disney. And then on the way back, we should have about 14% battery and then I will plug in at home. But in the meantime, what is Steph doing? What is Steph doing over here? I think she's putting googly eyes on the charger. Girls. All right, we went 204 miles, if you guys can see that. I have 46 miles left on this charge. So uh, it's time to kind of talk about home charging a little bit. Yeah, I know. If you want to watch Disney videos, check out Steph Stuck in a Truck. I left my camera in the car. That wasn't, I, I don't know why. Sometimes it's nice to get out and just leave the camera. Are they carrying the leaf? Yeah, they're carrying the leaf to get it out of there. Oh, it was covering the hole? No, I threw it over there. Look, you being mean. No, I just wanted to see what they were going to do about it. They're going to throw it on top of it. They're going to move that leaf. That's like you and me together painting your RV. Yeah, like a very bad work together. Well, this is the type of stuff you see when you're out uh, painting and getting ready to charge your EV. Okay, the birds are getting angry. They're getting angry. Uh-oh, that, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go, and go ahead and end today's video. I'm really not gonna show you me charging. You've seen EV charging before. All I can tell you is Amp Road level two chargers, you could purchase them on Amazon, are definitely way better than the home charging kit that, that the Nissan comes with or probably any other EV comes with. The ones that you just plug into your wall like you're charging your cell phone. I can charge with the one that came with the car and it might take eight to nine hours. Where the Amp Road level two charger that I plug into my RV, well, this isn't my RV, this is Steph's. It's looking pretty good, right? We're getting there. Um, but I can charge like in 30 minutes. 30 minutes I can go from home drive 60 miles down to Universal Studios or Disney. It, it, it's, it's, it's the same kind of chargers you see at destinations like hospitals, 7-Elevens, Walmarts, except it's at home. It's at home. It's pretty good. Now, yesterday at Disney, I did pay once again. I paid, what was it, six bucks at Disney? It was $3 to connect at Disney Springs and then they charged me $3 to charge. That's like the biggest bill I've had in the last 2,000 miles was a $6 charge. Other than that, I've been pretty much charging for free. So I think it's 15 cents a kilowatt off the grid here at home in the RV if you're connected, you know, but if you're at a campground or something like that, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's just basic, you know, it's free. Uh, if you're using your generator, if you have solar, that'll charge your EV. Or you could just run into a mall or 7-Eleven and just plug in and it's free too. For some reason, Disney and the Turnpike love to charge. I mean, not charge your car. They love to charge a fee. And uh, But other than that, so uh, what do we got? We got 2,200 miles, I think. And I had $1.40 before that and $6 yesterday. So in 2,000 something miles, I'm like at $7, almost $8 in uh, charges. And that's not too bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know what the gas equivalent would be because I haven't had a gas vehicle in at least 12 years, I wanna say, 13 years. So this is, I, I don't actually know what gas is 
and what gas prices i see the gas prices when i pass by and i go wow 303 306 but depending on how much mileage you get in your car i guess depends i don't know what three dollars times two thousand miles would be but i know it's more than eight bucks i would assume anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get this video out there and uh, i gotta go and i'm gonna let steph continue painting her rv on her own it should just be a second coat it's egg that, is this eggshell white so this is eggshell white but the new color that's going over the top of the eggshell white is what i think it's just called white it's just called white so that should be a nice base and then just white over the top and then i'm assuming later she's going to do some cool artwork on it or something and make it look fantastic like the partridge family did right it would be all right, until the next time, guys, I love you. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I got to get on down the road. Peace out, everybody.